Hi everyone, um, I'm going to do a post about movie posters today. Um, so my fir the first one I'm going to talk about is um, the post for The Cabin in the Woods. Um, and this was inspired by, um, I think it's MC Escher, um, because he did a, paint a painting with loads of different stairs all going, which uh, which is called Relativity, which shows that everything isn't as it seems. Also, it, gives, it doesn't give out away too much about the film. It just shows the house and all these different stairs. It's very, you could tell it's going to be scary, but it doesn't give away anything. It doesn't show any of the monsters or zombies um, that are going to come get them. Um, you just see the house and people walking up and down stairs. So I think that's a really effective one. Uh, the next one we're going to move on to is the um, classic one of Jaws. And this has got a really big white shark, of course you've seen it. Um, white shark at the bottom. And this is huge compared to the woman that's swimming along the top, who seems completely oblivious about what is underneath her. So it kind of shows that she, it just shows people's innocence and how they can't see this huge monster coming. In fact, that it's so big, it makes it seem so much scarier and it's got very good focus on the teeth and everything. And then the big font, which has jaws in big red letters, um, it's, it's very Im has a very big impact on it. And the next one is um, the Amazing Spider-Man. It's really clever this one because it's got um, the untold stories. So it's got him at the top um, and the spider as his shadow, the classic spider. I think it's really effective because you can't really see his face. Um, and it's so, and it's just him in the light, so I can show that he is, the um, he is going to help them. In fact, and the font, in, the font at the bottom is in white with a bit of red for the date. So you focus on the date mostly because it's not actually called the Untold Story; it's the Amazing Spider-Man. But that's what it is. It is a, a, their, his untold story. But it's it's not in particularly big font in comparison to Jaws, which has a huge font at the top. Um, so that shows it's not really that relevant and the picture is the main relevance and then you look at the bottom to see the date so the picture is is, is um it shows all the brick walls and everything so it shows like it's quite a normal kind of place and the last one i'm going to talk about is another classic one which is stanley Co kubrick's sorry for said that wrong kubrick's um clockwork orange poster I've not seen this film, but it's very scary. Um, I can imagine. Um, it's got him leaning out of the tri this triangle, and that's really like horrific because it feels like he's going to grab you. And also, it says at the top, being the adventures of a young man whose principal interests are rape, ultraviolence, and Beethoven. So that shows about like what kind of person he's going to be. And also, you can see his eye very much there with the makeup on. But the um the font that they use isn't particularly scary, but in a way that sort of makes it more scary because it kind of it, it feels like it's going to be light hearts when you see the poster and you know and you see the title and you know it's going to be a really grim film. So they've used that quite well as so this kind of dramatic irony, sort of. So the title has been really prominent throughout these three ones. Problem with the cabin in the woods, it's just it's just at the bottom. It's like almost like a Polaroid picture. It's just at the bottom. So it's not really. It's not really that relevant, it's just telling you what it is. The things like Clockwork Orange is huge it's, and, and Jaws, they're really in your face, so you remember them, and so you'll know what you want to go see them. Um, thank you for watching my um, video blog, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, that's all I have to say on four posters, that's just analysing them briefly. Thank you for watching, bye.